as you can see, I can play music. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain really quickly. If you already have virtual audio cable installed, then this will be pretty easy. If not, uh, link will be down in the description for virtual audio cable. So this is a uh, tutorial on how to play music in your stream while having it either louder or softer for the stream and yourself. So whichever way you want it, if you want it way louder for yourself than your viewers, or if you want it way quieter for yourself than your viewers, whichever combination you want, loud all around, quiet all around, then, um, I mean, even muted for yourself and only playing for your viewers, then you can use this uh, to your advantage. So, like I said, this is already after Virtual Auto Cable is installed. Uh, you might want to restart your PC after installing it because it is uh, drivers. So your PC has to commit them to the system. And what you're going to do is you're also going to have Windows Media Player. Now, if you can set the output device on another music software that you use, then you can do this with any software that you can, you can select the output device rather than only using your default output device see how my default output device is my my headset so what you're going to do to change this is you have your music right you go into more options and you go into devices and then you go to speakers properties and you will choose the cable input for virtual auto cable apply obviously and then okay and then okay and now and whenever you press play, you might not hear it. Uh, so, because you have to actually to hear it yourself, you have to listen to the device as Windows calls it. So you have to right click on your audio bar here, go to settings and that opens this, and then go to sound control panel. And this opens up the old version of the Windows sound. I'm just gonna minimize Windows Media Player there. And you want to go to recording devices, find the output, Right click that, go to properties, go to listen, then choose the headset that you listen to your game, your notifications, everything on, wherever you want to hear the music yourself, and then click listen to this device. If you're playing on a um, laptop, you might want to say continue when on battery power, and then click OK, apply if you have it, and then OK. Now that you have that, now you can have this audio here is for the overall music volume coming from the windows media player so for instance if i turn it down here and i have my mixer open so you go right click on your audio mixer you want to be on your headset or your desktop whatever and you want to find cable output virtual audio cable you want to turn this to if you want it really loud for yourself like that Going really quiet for yourself whatever right um but obviously if you want the stream to be quieter than what you're hearing then you would do that in obs itself so i'll go over that in a second but if you want the music to be quiet for you or even muted versus the stream for it to be louder if people are saying i can't hear the music and you want to hear the game or your teammates communication then what you would do is either mute here or turn it down. Usually the way I do it for myself is about like two. And then I have another thing that you can install in the plugins for Windows Media Player under background. It's called Media Player Plus, and I'll leave another link down in the description about this. And what you would do is you'd go into the properties for this, and then you can go to hotkeys, and you can use hotkeys to turn up and down the music because I don't wanna to have to alt tab out of my game every time I wanna change the volume. So I can use my arrow keys to turn up and turn down and I can use my page up and page down to go through songs, but I only have the one song on the list right now because I was just using it as an example to start with and everything. Um, so what you do, you have to you wanna mute it or turn it down, whatever for yourself. And then to have it on the stream, obviously, away from your own audio because i could just play this without having it on the obs and, and everyone will still be able to hear it at the same volume as myself but again if you want to mute it yourself or have it louder than the stream is hearing it then you're going to want to do this go into your settings in obs go to your audio and under desktop audio or mic whichever you want you want to change it to either the output or the input and 
either way that's going to play the music um if it doesn't then choose one or the other uh and just test either one because sometimes the driver might mess up and it might not transfer to being able to be used as a microphone versus using it as a desktop audio device or because you're sending the music to the input it counts as a desktop audio device so yeah that's I mean, either way it'll work for me but i don't know for some of you it may not i'm just giving an example of if some weird incident occurs but now you have it here right it's good for me it's my mic so it's mic auxiliary too what i would do is i would turn this all the way down or however loud you want your stream to have it depending upon how people are acting with the music and you can turn it on and you guys will hear it two times so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mute my desktop audio real quick. Let's just play it. So as you can see, that's how it is here. And then I'm going to mute this and I'm going to unmute the desktop audio. And so now this is what it would sound like for me. So it's a lot louder because I have this volume up and it can be even so this volume versus this volume it doesn't really matter you could have this all the way down for yourself to make it lower for you and then have this all the way up to make it louder for the stream and vice versa so this is what the stream hears your mic 2 or your desktop 2 whatever it's labeled as and I think you can change that yeah you can rename it to virtual audio cable um and then this is the audio overall of the music coming from windows media player and then again if you go into your mixer and you go to virtual audio cable here since now you're listening to the device the driver itself this is the audio that you're hearing on your desktop device so you could have this again muted for yourself you won't hear the music but if you have the virtual audio cable here in obs you can have it playing full blast for your stream which, I mean, I don't know if anyone wants that, but maybe, maybe it's a really good song and everyone just has turned it up in the chat, but you never know. So yeah, again, you're gonna need virtual auto cable and if you want to easily control with your keyboard or even if you have a stream deck, I'm pretty sure you can code that into the uh, Windows Media Player Plus plugin. Um, and again, I'm gonna leave a link down below for virtual auto cable and Windows Media Player Plus. I don't know exactly how this would work for Mac or Linux. And again, this works completely the same way if you can choose which out to output device excuse me output device you're using on that program so if on spotify which i don't know last time i used spotify i couldn't do this but maybe you can no, i just don't know i've used it in like two years but if on spotify's desktop program you can choose the output device rather than having it be your default audio device then you could do this with spotify and uh yeah so that's the end for me thank you all this has been a grandma jesus tutorial <laughs> i have a whole bunch of them on the channel um even from back when my name was Seki leader so you may know me as Seki leader so there he is grandma jesus or obviously jason manning and i love you all i hope this helped anyone that is going to i'm obviously made this for blue but i hope this helps anyone else which is why i'm going to upload it as public good night and good morning